Big theory. A lot of really smart people almost guarantee that we're living inside of a simulation. And one of these super geniuses is actually Elon Musk. You know, CEO of Tesla, SpaceX. Okay, yeah, super smart, you get the point. So today, we are going to be looking at the most convincing argument that you and I are living in a simulated reality. Many, many years into the future, post-human civilizations will have developed the technology to run a way more advanced version of The Sims. I mean, think about it. We already have photorealistic games right now, and we used to have computers the size of rooms. Now we have it in our pockets. So just imagine what could be accomplished in the future. Due to our technological advancements, we would have developed artificial intelligence to a level that could accurately model a human brain. This would allow us to understand how neurons operate and form complex circuits that create consciousness. Now, we have to put in perspective that in 2015, the Human Brain Project actually did release a small model of about 30,000 mouse neurons. However, this was only about 1% of the mouse's brain. You have to keep in mind though how rapidly technology advances. Just imagine showing FaceTime to somebody in 1965 they would definitely think you're from another galaxy. It should also be noted that the only real computational power requirement for simulation purposes is only to recreate a subjective experience for the conscious individuals being simulated, meaning that they only need to believe what they're experiencing is real, not necessarily that it is. Even recreating just a subjective experience inside of a computer simulation is insane on its own. Some philosophers argue that this computational power will be achieved by capturing the energy of the sun. This computational power would actually allow us to run thousands upon thousands of simulations. Effectively, there will eventually be thousands upon thousands versions of you. This argument does fall apart, however, if humans aren't able to reach this level of advancement. This could be due to a variety of factors, including nuclear weapons, the artificial intelligence we create decides to turn their back on us, or we become extinct due to a giant meteor like what happened with the dinosaurs. Of course, this is a very oblique and pessimistic view of future human civilizations. Most would agree that we will eventually reach this point in humanity where we have the technology to accomplish this. This is where things really get interesting. If we are able to reach this level of technological advancement, what are the odds that we are the first civilization to do this? To some, that's a pretty narcissistic view that somehow we were just the first. It has been greatly hypothesized that many civilizations before us have achieved this feat of technological advancement. And we're just merely inside one of their simulated realities. It may also be possible for simulated civilizations to become post-human, meaning they reach a level of technological advancement to begin a simulation. They may run their own ancestor simulations on powerful computers they built in their simulated universe. This brings us back to the original point, why would we be the first to do this? Because we would have to suspect that the post-humans running our simulation are simulated beings themselves, and their creators may also be simulated beings. This means that reality probably contains a multitude of levels, even if it is necessary for the hierarchy of realities to bottom out at some point. That bottoming out point is pretty obscure, so there's no telling how many potential levels of reality there are. There's actually an episode of Rick and Morty that illustrates this pretty perfectly. And if this theory holds true, some of the ramifications of it are really wacky, but very interesting. One of the ramifications of this theory being correct is the ability to draw some loose analogies to religious conceptions of the world. Basically, the posthumans running the simulation are like gods in relation to the people that are inhabiting the simulation. 
This is due to the post-humans' ability to control and manipulate the world around the simulated humans, as well as their superior intelligence. In addition to these ancestor simulations, there are also possibilities of more selective simulations. These selective simulations could only include a small group of humans or a single individual, meaning that the rest of the human population would only be half simulated, or just simulated enough not to raise suspicion for the fully simulated selected humans, or individual meaning that you could be the only one in this reality that is fully simulated and everyone else around you is effectively fake. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below. Smash that thumbs up button and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.